Well, it's time to put the shingles on our roof on our project house. In the old days, you only picked a shingle just to keep the water out of the house. Now there's a lot of different selections as far as material, the composition, how much they cost, what they look like, how they're made. We start with our roof decking, and the framers have put up oriented strand board, which is actually strips of wood glued together. It makes a very, very strong surface. On top of that, we're going to put either fiberglass or some sort of felt. And the reason for that is if any water gets past our shingles or shakes and hits the roof line, we want it to hit the fiberglass or felt and run straight off our roof. We don't want it to get even to the oriented strand board. We just want it off the roof. That'll be our next layer. On top of that, number one thing to do is just a conventional shingle. These are fiberglass and asphalt combination. They're called composition shingles, three tab shingles. Very easy to install, not very heavy, so you really don't have to build up your roof line. Price-wise, anywhere from about $20 to $200 per square. Now, a square is how you measure area on a roof. A square is 10 feet by 10 feet. Now, behind me, I have what looks like a clay tile, and it's similar to what we're putting on our roof right now here on our project house, but it's not clay. It's actually made out of concrete. Now, they are heavier than a clay tile, but they're less expensive. As far as the weight, you really need to load your roof line before you actually nail them in place. We've gone ahead, they set shingles all around here a couple days ago and just let them set for a while to see how the roof line reacted to see if it was too much weight. The architect's designed with this much weight in mind, but it's a good idea to just go ahead and load the shingles up just in stacks and just see if the roof line bows anywhere. If it does, you don't want to nail them in place. You want to go ahead and brace up accordingly. We were okay, but it's a good safety precaution. And they also make this one also. This looks like a cedar shake. I do not recommend cedar shakes because easy to catch on fire. You shoot them with an ice ball or hail, they break to pieces. This one has the look of a cedar shake, but it's actually lightweight concrete. So it's not as heavy as our other tile. We're not gonna have to brace up the roof as much or spend as much money, but it makes a really nice look, and strong tile. And again, it can withstand some high impacts from hail and stuff. This is a Decker shake, and this looks like it's a bunch of cedar shakes. If you flip it over to the other side, what you see is it's actually made out of steel. Now the nice thing about this steel shingle is it's very lightweight so you don't have to brace up the roof a lot to support it. Plus when we tested this in a laboratory and hit it with an ice ball at 100 miles per hour, the ice ball really just bounced off and fell to the floor and just left a little dent in our steel shingle. So it's going to last for years and years and years. They put the aggregate on top of it for looks. Plus also if there's ever a fire inside your house and a fireman had to get up on your roof, they're not going to slip and slide because they're on bare steel but they'll actually be on that aggregate and be able to keep their footing on a wet roof. Now, as far as roofs go, as you can see, there's a big variety in prices and designs and looks, but that's because people like different things on their house. And it's one of the biggest visual things you see when you pull up to a house is that roof line. Ours behind us, we use multi-colors all along the different tile shape. But once it's done, it's really gonna be a beauty.